सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ पॉपुलर प्रोटीन पाउडर्स इन इंडिया हैव लेस प्रोटीन दैन दे क्लेम दैट्स वॉट दिस न्यू इंडिपेंडेंट स्टडी ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स पॉपुलर ब्रांड्स हैज फाउंड आउट इन फैक्ट यूल फाइंड देर आर ब्रांड्स दैट क्लेम दे हैव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ग्राम्स ऑफ प्रोटीन पर स्कूप बट एक्चुअली हैव लेस देन सेवन ग्राम्स दैट्स इन सेन एंड इट्स सो ग्रेट दैट अ सिटीजन फंडेड स्टडी हैज कॉट दिस बट वेट कैन वी इवन बी श्योर देर इज सेवन ग्राम्स ऑफ प्रोटीन nope not really because the study doesn't test for amino spiking let me explain you see the standard lab test used to measure protein doesn't actually measure protein it measures nitrogen it's called the geldal method and it's the same method that this study uses too here's how it works you see all proteins are nothing but a combination of amino acids and all amino acids contain nitrogen So testing for nitrogen is a good proxy for testing protein. This method is cost effective and has been reliably used in food chemistry for over a century and it generally provides accurate results. But what if a manufacturer decides to spike your protein with a cheap amino acid like arginine? Even this cheap amino acid contains nitrogen, so the Geldal method would indicate a higher protein content. This deceptive practice is called amino spiking. Not only is this misleading, but excessive doses of cheap amino acids like arginine and glycine can cause serious health issues. But hey, it allows them to sell a high protein powder at much lower prices than competition. Now, could this have been tested? Yup, you can test the amino acid profile of any protein. But it's an expensive test and unfortunately FSSAI does not mandate this test either. Here's the thing though, any good brand will voluntarily test their amino acid profile and put it on the pack. Here's how it looks. If your protein powder does not have this detailed profiling at the back and it is super cheap as compared to others in the market, I would really think twice. One last thing. Many of you have asked why our protein powders were not tested in this study. well because this new study is actually an old study their research was conducted last year much before our protein powder was launched so how could they test us good news is we've done both the geldal test and that expensive amino acid profiling test ourselves you can see a full list of our tests and our certifications both on our website and on our pack and having said all of this we still welcome even more independent tests because hey we have nothing to hide and that's the whole truth